So Nabil, I don't know if you understand me when I speak in English, but the idea is actually today to show a bit how to make matriciana carbonara in cacio e pepe. So you have a guanciale that is actually a la guancia, no? The chicken guancia, right? Sì. Allora, eh, il, for il formaggio questo è il pecorino romano. Okay. So he's actually Pulido. cutting the, uh, the the guanciale is covered by the pepper. So if it is too much, it tends to burn and give a bit of flavor to the to the to the guanciale. The way you cut it is really important. Però guarda, è importante anche guarda pulire il guanciale. Perché allora, la parte amaro viene sempre o dal pepe o ma se no il, il, il guanciale come si dice? Uh, sì, aspetta. No. Uh, anacido. Acido. No, anacido. La parte anacido. gialla. Sì, anacido. la parte gialla si forma con la parte giallastra. So the pepper that it burns, or the quality of the pepper, and also the guanciale that has been a bit yellow, and this gives you the bitter flavor to the guanciale. Okay, che c'è un, un uh, cattivo... Rancido, rancido, rancido! Scusa, ma ti... C'è un delle fette che sono... Sì. Due, due, tre centimi. Okay, well, it's una, actually, well, I'll show it. Somehow like this, so yeah, this, so this side. The part of the important is to try to make the guanciale a pochettini. The actual, the actual size of the stripe, and then we need to cut it. We have to cut it. Certo, certo. How do you do that? Okay. Let's cut it. So the secret here, first of all, that you need to have a good pan. Devi avere una buona padella. The secret is actually to fry the guanciale inside within its own fat. So having a good pan. That is quite hot. E così. Ok, piano piano, piano frigge. Ecco, già si sta iniziando a risolare. Sì. He's starting to fry a bit in his own fat. That's the idea. Not adding cream, not using oil, not using bacon. La tostatura, questo è tostato. He's actually crunchy. E dentro rimane a... I'm slightly chewy in the beginning. You want to taste it? Of course. You want to try? Now we have changed the guanciale. Now we are preparing the, the base for the tomato sauce. Shallot. Right? His suggestion uh, is actually to use shallot, not onion. Hmm. Why? Perché? Allora, eh, gli scaloni è, è una cipolla come tutte le altre cipolle, però è, è un po' particolare. Eh, gli scaloni è, diciamo, è meno aggressivo mm. della cipolla normale, è, è più dolce. Before we said that the difficult part of the carbonara was having that cream that somehow makes make this table. Even here we're talking about a simple dish, but the most, the most important issue is actually to have perfect balance between the sauce, the tomato sauce and the guanciale. You can add a bit more guanciale, it's not a big problem, but if you add more tomato, you're going to have a tomato sauce pasta with a bit of guanciale. And if you don't put enough, maybe it's going to be too dry. So that's the right proportion. Would you say that this is the perfect quantity for a half kilo? Dici che questo va bene per mezzo chilo? Sì, per quattro persone. And maybe use more the fat of the guanciale in order to, to, to melt the pasta. Sì, ma c'è un po' di del grasso di guanciale è sempre utilizzata. In modo che, diciamo, perché anche ora il, il grasso di guanciale aiuta a rendere più morbida, più cremosa la... Okay. Before we talk about different kind of tomatoes that can be sweeter and more acidic or actually something in between uh, and also different time of uh, timing of cooking it. This is a between 15 minutes, right? You should cook it for 15-20 minutes. Uh, while there are maybe other tomatoes that need an hour, especially to get out the acidity. The best way is to have a good tomato like this one here.